If you own a BMW with adaptive headlights from this era, there is a good chance you will run into an issue where one or both of the headlights are droopy and aren't aligned as expected. There are many reasons for this such as bad height sensors, stepper motors, burnt out modules or headlight seals going bad, but in this video I'll go through my troubleshooting steps and show you how I fixed it on my BMW E92. If you're not sure if you have adaptive headlights, turn your steering wheel and see if the lights move in the direction of the wheels. Let's start with the first issue as it's fairly easy to check. This BMW E92 has two leveling sensors, one in the front and one in the rear. I started by checking the front and everything looked fine, but when I got to the height sensor in the back, it looked like this. We can clearly see that nothing is lining up properly and it's all bent out of place, resulting in the sensor providing false information to the car. Instead of buying a new one, I figured I could hammer it back in shape and see if that works. And look at that, it fits much much better now. I checked the voltages for both sensors after doing this and both fell within spec. That's a result for sure. But unfortunately for me, this only raised the right side headlight slightly and didn't fully fix the issue. If your headlights do not level themselves properly when the car is very heavy or unevenly loaded, this might be the reason why, so it's definitely good to check. Now that I knew both of the sensors were sending valid information to the car, I wondered what else could be the problem. That's when I remembered that each of the headlights has an adjusting screw, so that was my next step. I tried adjusting each headlight and the right side worked as expected. I was able to adjust it to almost any height I wanted. However, when I got to the left side, as soon as I got to a certain point, it would snap back to the lower position, not allowing me to adjust it any higher. The highest I can get is about this line right here. And then on the right side, I can easily get it over even the second part of the uh, folding garage door. So I'm like, why is it not adjusting just like this one? So if you take a very close look inside where the adjuster is, we can see there's like a ball thing that goes in. Very hard to see, but you can see it between the brown and the green wires. And that half ball that has slits in it literally is slotted inside, right? So it's fully in and it's engaged. But if you go on this side, as you can see, just right there, it is not fully in there. So it's slipping as I'm turning it and it's not actually engaged with uh, this part right there that actually adjusts the height. So I think that's my entire problem. So I have to put that back in and hope it's not broken. And if it is, I'm afraid I'll probably have to take the headlight apart, replace the headlight, We'll see. So I tried getting my hands in there to adjust this uh, plastic piece, right? To get it on top of that adjuster. So the adjuster is for the dynamic headlights, as well as when you turn left and right, it moves with the car. The headlights move with the car. I'm not able to get to that from here. There's just not enough access. So what I'm gonna do instead is remove this cover in the back, so that cover right there, and that should give me full access basically. Now to get to some of the bolts, I have removed uh, my wheel and then took a couple of screws out right here. So now I'm able to pull this back, this plastic piece back, and now I have access to the other screw. So there, and there should be one like up top. This is the access that I was looking for. So this part right there. So the front of this is basically right there. So I decided to remove the plastic part completely. Now I have full access to this motor. I think it's a motor, I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna remove it and see if I need to reconnect some of these plastic parts to make them work the way they should. Maybe I don't even have to remove it because I just noticed that it moves a lot. Can I just push it back in? Maybe not. All right, I believe I got it in the right spot now. So you might be able to see it in video. I'm not 100% sure, but basically this part was not as deep as it is now. See, there's a lot more space now. So what I did is basically use my screwdriver came from the bottom, pushed it in as much as possible. So let me show you which part I pushed in. 
that part right there. See that part right there? Yeah, so I pushed that in from this side, pushed it in from this side. So when you lift this up, you can see it just right there. Push that one in and this moving this back and forth really helps with that. So I can move it back and then I have access right there. Yeah, you can see it perfectly right there. So I pushed it in from the bottom, from the top, from the side, and it clicked in. And now it looks basically how it's supposed to and how it looks on the other side. All right, it's going to be hard to see, but hopefully it makes sense. So this part right here, the one that I'm kind of rubbing on top, that's the part that clipped in. And now it's fully engaged on this side and not halfway in or out. So when I adjust the screw from now on, it's actually going to move the headlight up and down instead of just moving that bracket in and out. Well, let's put it back together and then see if it adjusts properly. To finish the job, I pushed the vertical aim adjuster all the way in and then reinstalled the two screws. If you're trying to do the same thing, be extra careful here not to break any plastics or brackets as doing so will likely make it not repairable and you will need a new headlight and that gets expensive. Luckily in my case everything went well and it was time to put the cover back. But before doing so I remember that my headlight was steaming up at some point so I figured it was perfect time to make it watertight by using this headlamp sealant. I used it on my BMW Z4 when I replaced the lens on it a few months ago and it's been perfect since. With a few screws securing the cover back in its place, the fender liner can be reinstalled as well as the wheel. All right, now it's time to turn the car back on and adjust. Hopefully it doesn't pop back out. Probably should have tried it before I put everything back together, but too late now. All right, now that I put everything back together, you can clearly see that our previous adjustment has gone up a lot. So I can adjust it now to be leveled with the other headlight. Hopefully that one's okay also because it seems a lot brighter on the left side, but gonna go for a drive and see how it actually looks when we're driving but at the moment the idea is to lower it to basically level it with the other one and go for a drive and see how it looks all right i think that looks perfect and there you have it guys this is how i fixed the adaptive headlight leveling issue on my bmw hope it helped you troubleshoot yours and if you'd like to see how i rebuilt the engine on this car in less than 30 minutes click here leave your comments or questions down below hit the like button if you liked the video and i'll see you in the next one bye